Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Their overall stance, uh, Aquarius, this seems like someone who's ghosted or they're avoiding you. Seven of Swords, the Hermit. It's a ghosted energy. I did ask why. Why are they avoiding you? We have number 39, frozen in time, stuck, avoiding change, locked in the past. So, so the reason they're leaving the situation behind or they're avoiding you is because they seem to be stuck in something that happened in the past. Clarify Seven of Swords. Let me see if I can get more information. What is going on? Some of you, this person was deceptive to begin with. <laughs> Some of them feel that you have the clarity. Yeah, strong King of Wands energy coming through here. That you know they're deceptive. They have no choice, right? Because they've been caught in a lie. That's for some of you. Why is Seven of Swords here for this person's stance? Yeah, same energy. Eight of Cups in reverse. They're stuck in the past something they're emotionally clinging to here. This person's very uh, manipulative. Look at the look in his eyes, magician. Some of them, they're having a hard time releasing a uh, commitment, uh, someone they were committed to, a marriage, some partnership. It can't even be, I feel it, this doesn't have some, you know, anything to do with you. Why is Hermit here? I think they may have had more than one uh, option here. Hermit, King of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Hierophant, yeah, this is, wow, okay. Two scenarios I'm getting. Look at Seven of Swords upright again. Gemini energy. This person, if they had someone else in their energy or they randomly ghosted and you were aware that they were coming out of something um, from their past, they went back to whoever um, they were in a situation with before you to work things out with that individual. That's what I'm getting. That is why they've been avoiding you. They went back to someone from their past. They had a decision to make between their head and their heart or just a decision to make in general. And they chose their commitment, Hierophant, a marriage. King of Wands can definitely be a married man or woman. And others of you, they're avoiding you and they're diverting their attention to their work. So that third element is their work, if it's not a literal person. But a lot of you I am getting, there was three people here. Why is Hermit here? One more for the Hermit. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. This was someone backstabbed you. This was a betrayal here. How they're viewing you, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Cups upright. They're viewing you as someone who's stuck, who's very disappointed. And that you're not, you're missing them. You're not moving on from this. That is how they're viewing you. So they're, they know. If you are feeling um, down about the situation, they're aware of that. Why is Knight of Pentacles in reverse here for how this person will be viewing Aquarius? Yeah, that you're disappointed in them. That you did have hopes for this situation. You were willing to invest and build at one point. Why is Five of Cups? Some of you may be um, acting bitter. You may have blocked them. You cut them out, which is why they're assuming that you're very upset, which is why you may not be communicating. You're giving them the silent treatment. Why is Five of Cups here? Especially if this was someone who had a tendency to be in and out. Yeah, there's blockages here. Um, not having this uh, same vision here moving forward. Three of Wands in reverse. Someone turned their back to the situation. They're viewing you as someone who's uh, pessimistic over this situation and that you still have love for them.
king of cups that you still wanted to invest and move things forward knight of wands i want to see what you're doing here Ooh. how will aquarius view this person at the undermine for the rest of the year how will aquarius view this person yeah that there's delays ace of pentacles ace of wands things aren't getting off the ground or yeah that is what i'm getting things didn't get off the ground some of you this was a new person and you have no idea what happened and what happened was that they were still clinging to someone from their past and they went back to that situation and others of you this may have ended as fast as it began this person's oh, seems to be a very non-committal sneaky energy how they'll be feeling about you we have king of wands upright two of wands in reverse they're saying they've made a decision they were at a crossroad they had to choose and they're choosing not to move things forward with you why is king of wands here for how this person will be feeling about aquarius it's almost like it feels like you dodged a bullet here yeah they're very stuck and they're intentionally leaving things at a halt I don't like this magician. It's very manipulative and his eyes are extremely creepy in this image. Like he's intentional. There's control issues. Did this person feel like they lost control over you? Why is King of Wands here? I want one more. Knight of Wands. This may be someone who was inconsistent to begin with. There was a rot there was a lot of red flags here I'm getting. Did you ignore the red flags? Yeah, this person made a decision to take a break and focus on their family, their happiness, can be a married person again, King of Pentacles, someone who had commitment elsewhere, which is why they took a break from this. Or they're just committed to their goals, right? Their work, because we do have strong sixth house coming through, which does rule our work, our day to day. There was more people in this person's energy than just you, Aquarius, is what the cards are indicating. Yeah, they're all about themselves, really. It's a very selfish energy. Wow, and look at, as I say that, emotional manipulation here as well. Perhaps this person painted a picture of themselves right they presented the best version of them but they turned out to be another way there was illusions here ten of cups five of swords how this person appeared and who they were it's opposite they're not the king of cups they're five of swords mind games very selfish all about themselves what is what do they want what makes them happy big ego I don't think this will resonate for a lot of people. I'm getting a very narcissistic vibe. I'll pull out my ghosted deck towards the end and we'll get additional clarity, but I'm getting a third party situation. Someone who's playing the field dating around, which is why they are missing this opportunity with you. Their intentions towards you, fool, two of pentacles. Their intentions is to avoid you. So they're pretty consistent here with their stance and they're dropping the situation. Um, some of them felt this was a risk they didn't want to take. Perhaps you didn't trust them either. What action they'll take towards you? Six of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, they're keeping things stagnant. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Chariot, Two of Wands. All talks about um, standing in one position, not doing anything. Not making plans for the future. 
So I don't see this person taking action towards you for the rest of the year. How you'll be feeling about them, four of cups, six of wands in reverse. You're feeling disappointed. So they do seem to be perceiving you correctly. You're feeling this person is getting away. They are a missed opportunity, right? Why is Four of Cups in reverse here for how Aquarius will be feeling? If you're feeling weak, Aquarius, you will be getting your strength back. Yeah, some of you are wanting communication. You are you may be sending them a message, especially if they left you hanging, confused. You want clarity because you still do have your eye on them or you, you do have love for them. Why is Four of Cups in reverse? For how Aquarius... Yeah, communication. This may be someone new that you're getting to know and they disappear. That is also a possibility. But it has nothing to do with you. They're holding on to past emotional baggage. Clarify six of wands in reverse. Clarify six of wands in reverse. Yeah, well, this wanted to come through again. You're still wanting to invest Knight of Pentacles. You're not taking any drastic steps uh, towards this person, but you're also having a hard time releasing this death in reverse. There is an ending, separation. Some of you, this person was in a commitment with you, right? And they stepped out. They weren't willing to put in the work with temperance. They had a plan with the King of Wands and their feelings. He's pointing at the globe and they're saying, I'm seeing things from a higher perspective. I don't see this working in the long run. That is what I'm getting from them. Perhaps, you know, there was differences here. Is it age? Is it culture, race? What is it? Was there a distance? Something about the situation had this person feeling, I don't think I see my, you know, us together in the long run. There's differences here. Perhaps we don't see things the same way, right? How will this person react if Aquarius were to reach out? How will this person react if Aquarius were to reach out? Mm. Well, they have options, so... Yeah, no, 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 no. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups. I would hold back communication. Always listen to your intuition, though. Aquarius, you know your situation better. But this person's all about drama. And if they've deceived you in the past, there's, they haven't changed much. Few of you... Um, sorry, this is a general reading. Another message I'm getting here, Aquarius, is... This may not be you reaching out. Perhaps this person was very uh, persistent in the past. They were very persuasive. You felt things were going somewhere, right? And then they run, you know, suddenly pulled back. That's for some of you. And that is why you're left a bit confused here. Four of Cups in reverse can also be moodiness, right? Your potential outcome, we have strength, the magician. High Priestess, all three major arcana, Aquarius, and your outcome. Why strength here for Aquarius outcome? Strength is when we're holding back. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or someone with a big ego. King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Wands. 
wise magician here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at what you're manifesting. Wow. <laughs> look at that, Aquarius. You have nothing to worry about. This person was viewing you as the Five of Cups, right? You're focused on the Three Cups. Look what's standing behind you. Two of Cups. And look at what you're bringing, you're calling in. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. You're manifesting wish fulfillment. Some of you, an opportunity of a lifetime, a long-term commitment. Wow, yeah. If you, if you don't want love, you know, everyone is different. This can be uh, financial success here as well. But a lot of you, this has to do with your love life. And someone that you're aligned with, right? There's a strong emotional connection. We have Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Your outcome, your it's pretty much the universe coming in with the, you know, three major arcana. It's usually a higher power stepping in, right? These are events we don't have control over. So it's almost reassurance uh, from your guides here that you're almost dodging a bullet, right? Hang in there. You will get your strength back. This is a happily ever after. I, I, this is, I've never seen an outcome like this. For one, all of your cards are upright. And you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow, Z. Why is High Priestess here? Probably the most powerful outcome I have ever seen so far. Strength again. You're being guided. Do you see the Nine of Swords? She's stressed. She has her hands covering her. It's almost like she's hugging herself. But we have the owl here in the window, right? Trying to get her attention. We have this lion by her side. You're protected. You're being looked after. You need to pay attention to your intuition, High Priestess. We have the crystal ball. We have the tarot cards. We have the cat. It's almost as if you're being shown the way, but you need to get out of your head here. You have nothing to worry about, really, Aquarius. The most powerful outcome. Amazing. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. They're saying hurt. I don't know if I should take this. I didn't even ask the question, but we'll read it. I need some inner child healing before I can cultivate any kind of relationship. So that is there that can be frozen in time means there is something from their childhood. Why is this person avoiding Aquarius? Well, we already got why because they were clinging to something from their past, but maybe we can get additional right messages. Unavailable. I know you're a catch and I love your company, but I just want to have fun and keep my options open. Maybe just not ready to settle down. Some of you circumstances, even though it was difficult for me to ghost you, I know that it's for the best. Okay, I can see this. I was overwhelmed by the intensity of my feelings. It was easier to run away. They did have King of Wands and Scorpio in their feelings. So I can definitely see this. When things got a bit too heavy, they ran. I lost track of all my budding relationships. This is a player though, someone who's in and out. I need some inner child healing. I didn't feel challenged and got bored. It was a little too easy for me. I heard gossip about you. I was careless. Ugh. It's one of those situations, Aquarius, where they're saying they got bored. They sort of go where their passion takes them, right? They're never satisfied because there's a deeper issue here. Some of them, it's that inner child, right? They're trying to fill some sort of void through uh, intimate sessions with others you know what i mean um through other vices i don't know what they do but 
There's something toxic about this individual. We have, I like your vulnerability. Um, so you may have been very uh, open, honest with this person. You were vulnerable with them. That's always the most difficult, I feel, when we've opened our heart, we've trusted another and they deceive us, right? So I can see why it must be painful. And we have your family may not approve of me. Yeah, n nobody's family will approve of this person until they get their stuff together. And they're very dramatic and they create drama wherever they go. So it's not just you. Your advice, Aquarius, we have brought in your horizons. Exploring new landscapes and meeting different people can bring fresh opportunities. Open yourself up to new experiences. It's the ideal time to move. Some of you, if you're thinking about moving, that is when you may find love. But this card for me always talks about keeping your options open, right? Exploring new territory, meeting new people. So they're wanting you to be open-minded when it comes to newer energies. And they're saying steer away from uh, conflict. Anyone that introduce, introduces any drama into your life, push past that, keep going, and don't entertain lower vibrational energies. And music may be very healing if you're going through a difficult time. That is coming through. I kind of want to get you this deck as well. I've been using this deck too much, so I thought I'd take a break from it, but what advice do you have for Aquarius in regards to this person? Hmm. Spotlight. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. We also have get over it. Shaky ground. Trust the feeling. Your intuition's on point. Don't doubt yourself. Snap out of it. They're going to be sorry they lost you, so stop worrying, Nine of Swords. Stop worrying, forget the past. It's time to let them go. Yeah, look at what you have coming towards you. You're about to be in the spotlight, whether it's your person only having eyes for you or your career finally taking off. Expect to get a lot of attention. This depends on you, Aquarius. What are you manifesting? Some of you I was getting, if you're wanting, you know, financial security, I see you getting that. If you're wanting someone who only has eyes for you, I see you getting that. Do you want both? I see you getting that. So it's very important that you keep your thoughts positive, right? Because I'm seeing whatever you're manifesting, it will be your reality here in the future. You're about to step into the spotlight, all eyes on you, and this person will realize what they lost out on. And they can watch you receive your blessings from afar for some of you. And that will be justice, sir. Yes, Aquarius, 